Guys, I can't believe that we've just become doctors. We have lots to catch up on. In this video, we're gonna be talking about all things graduation, finishing med school, what's up next, mm -hmm. when we're traveling to for our electives. There is lots to unpack. I'm so excited. But before we do that, let's introduce ourselves for those of you who are new here. My name is Liddy. And my name is Hazal. And we have been documenting our entire journey through medical school for the past five, five years. years. Just yesterday, we got our results and we passed our finals. But just before we get into that, if you're wondering why we we are wearing matching outfits mm -hmm. is because these jumpers are from Organic Spaces. So they're very kindly sent us these cute jumpers and have also sponsored today's video but we'll tell you a lot more about them later. First and foremost we had our doctor's day yesterday which is essentially when we got our final year medical school exam results. Mm -hmm. We found out we passed and our university held a little get together with good food, good vibes and it was just it was just immaculate. I took a few clips during the event so let me show you guys exactly what we got up to. Guys it doesn't feel real yet. Like, yeah, it doesn't. It feels so weird. It feels like a simulation. It feels like a dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, hope is not a dream. Pinch me. Pinch me. That wasn't a pinch. Yeah, no, it's not a dream. But yeah, I feel like you'll hear us once we get to uni and like mm. see our friends mm. and hold the trust me on the doctor sign with mm. stethoscopes. Yeah. I can't believe it. Wow. We know you guys have lots of questions about what's coming up. Our DMs are <laughs> popping with questions. But before we kind of go on to answer some of them, let's show you guys a bit more about our Organics Basics fits. So as I mentioned earlier on in the video, we've been sent some really nice pieces by Organics Basics, which is a really cool company based out in Copenhagen. And they create active wear, everyday essentials, and even underwear. So what's really cool about them is that all their clothes are ethically made with organic, recycled and eco-friendly materials, plus they are carbon neutral. And here we have a few of the items from the core cotton collection that is literally made for our comfort and flexibility throughout the day. You guys have already seen our really cute jumpers and they actually have matching sweatpants as well. And guys, these are so soft, like the fabric, feel it is so soft and they fit really nice as well like some jumpers can be too big too yeah. small but these are chef's kits <laughs> and guess what they are 100 percent cotton we also got these vests which again is 100 percent cotton and i really like wearing vests under my jumpers or my tops so this is going to come in so handy and to complete our haul we have another matching outfit of course We've paired the black t-shirt that has this really cool design on the back with the black sports straight pants. They are so soft and look so comfortable. I literally can't wait to get these on. They are form fitting and the texture is just amazing. And you can just tell that these are made for your comfort. Thank you so much to Organic Spaces for sending us these items. If you do want to check out these lovely items and more, be sure to use the link in the description box down below. And if you do purchase anything, use our discount code Liddy and her for 10% off. Now let's get into all of your juicy questions. I know you guys have all been waiting for this moment. <laughs> We're gonna answer as many of your questions as we can. So let's get started with the first question. So the first question is all about graduation. How does it feel to be graduating this year? Um, Guys, I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't feel real. Like after my exams finished, it didn't feel real because I had to, you know, I had to still wait for my results. And now I've got my results and I know I've passed, but I don't know, I still feel like I'm in a bit of a daydream, but I'm just so relieved because yeah, really I feel like we've been working so hard. Um, even alongside like content creation this year, we didn't reduce our content much. We still kept it going. Yeah. We still revised a lot. We've been doing a lot this year. Like a lot. <laughs> we need to give ourselves credit. Let me pat you on the back. Let me pat. Let me pat 
he was about. I was patting myself. <laughs> Electives, electives, electives. What's going on with that? Ooh. Let's give you the breakdown. Obviously, we shared on our Instagram that we're going to Southeast Asia for mm -hmm. our electives. Where we're going specifically, now that we don't have to cancel it because we passed our exams, <laughs> thank God. We are going to be going to <laughs> Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> I am so, so excited. Exciting. I didn't know Malaysia was such a hot spot for medical, for medical electives. electives. Everyone and their mum is going there. Everyone's in Malaysia. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to do two weeks in the UK mm -hmm. um, and we'll be doing our electives in medtech. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to spend around a month in Malaysia to do our electives in more of a clinical setting. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing anaesthetics and I'm doing obs and gynae. Comment down below any other questions you have. I'm going to be doing like a series on I think maybe mm. TikTok or Instagram about like how to organize, fund, everything electives. So yeah. let me know what questions you have down below. So a few people just kind of wanted tips for med school and stuff. Mm -hmm. What academic tips would you give to incoming med students? Let me take this one. Yeah. Guys, generally when I say take it a step at a time, I mean mm. take it a step at a time. Like you can't enter first year trying to pan out what the next five years might look like for you or start worrying about the dis in fourth year and then start worrying about your is in fifth year and it's not worrying about where you're going to be a doctor in, in sixth year like yeah. that's not the vibe literally just put your focus in first year try and smash that try and get through that and then second year do the same thing and then third year mm. and so on of course it's good to expose yourself to different specialities and try to start thinking about what your future may look like because mm -hmm. then that will inform your essay competitions and all these things you might want to get involved with on an mm -hmm. extracurricular basis but please just take it easy because it's so easy to get drowned in all the requirements of medical school and the overwhelming nature of it all so that is my main advice take it yeah. easy um and if anyone tells you they're not studying don't believe them yeah <laughs> literally everyone's studying everyone's, everyone's studying, studying everyone is studying you can't tell me you've got to third year without studying like come on literally. now who, who are you lying to like yourself yourself <laughs> how do you sustain your mental health with medicine oh that question deserves a whole new video. A whole video. Um, but I think on a surface level, try your best to understand that your mental health needs to be good to get through medicine. Yeah. Try not to like delay it or to brush onto the carpet because these things just build up. Mm. Um, try to speak to people around you. Mm. Try to kind of find healthy coping mechanisms. Mm. Um, I think don't be so hyper focused on medicine as this one yeah. thing because then you'll kind of start to block out other elements of your life that are so healthy like yeah. hobbies or exercise mm -hmm. and you know if you do have a mental health condition or your mental health really does deteriorate please 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 get help yeah. like i know at our university our uni is so good with mental health staff whether it's providing you with a counselor or therapy um or other support as well mm -hmm. so please just make the most out of the help available to you because yeah. it's there for a reason you know asking for help doesn't make you weak it doesn't i feel like like as medics we can feel like asking for help makes us less than mm. but it doesn't so in terms of kind of reflecting on this whole five years at medical school Ooh. what would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned medical school is truly what you make it mm -hmm. it is a hundred percent what you make One it like million percent. when i reflect on our character development and who we've come to be leaving medical school versus how we were when we entered medical school yeah. if we didn't make certain intentional decisions to put ourselves outside of our comfort zones to do stuff that we otherwise wouldn't do and whatnot mm. we wouldn't be who we are today mm. We decided to come out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people think they'll just enter med school and come out of it like, you know, this doctor <laughs> that has everything together. No one has it all together. But if you do want to come out of medical school just more refined, more in tune with who you are and your purpose, you need to seek it out. You need to seek it out during your time at medical school. Yeah. It's simply not gonna happen. So try to be intentional and strategic with what you're putting your energy towards during your time at medical school. Yeah, well said. Um, another lesson that I've learned is to never underestimate myself. I feel like mm. everything I've achieved throughout medical school, everything I've been able to do is because I kind of was my own cheerleader and I pushed myself to do those things. You know, kind of like what Liddy said, but things won't just happen. Things won't, yeah. <laughs> things won't just fall into your hand. And sometimes you need to, you know, push through that mm. imposter syndrome, push through that self doubt, push through what other people are saying or thinking to this day. To this day. To this day, there are still people <laughs> making comments about us making content. Cry. But look at oh, me. I'm gonna end my like, YouTube channel because I'm cringe. I'm like, gonna stop I'm my so sources happy. of income and my opportunities because I'm so cringe. One of the best <laughs> things I've done ever in my life probably is start content creation. So yeah. 
And, and you can't make me feel embarrassed about something I'm proud of. Exactly. Um, but that never would have happened <laughs> if I stopped because people in first year were making comments or yeah. people in second year were making comments. Yeah, or people in fifth year at their big age. We're still making comments. We're still making comments. But anyway, we won't, we won't, we won't get into that. Um, never underestimate yourself. And if there's something you want to do, just do it. The worst that can happen is that you fail. And every failure is a learning lesson anyway. So do it. What would you say is your honest opinion of Barts in London? Honestly, honestly, I've loved my experience here and I love my medical school. Is it perfect? No. Nowhere's perfect. Could I change a lot of things? Yes. A lot. Could the admin staff be better? <laughs> yes. But I think, you know, I've got a bit of a soft spot for Bart's just because they've been so supportive in our content creation journey. Yeah. Especially, you know, the staff members who are higher up who could have really caused an issue with us maybe creating content or doing certain things. But instead, they've been our biggest they've cheerleaders. They've embraced us. Yeah. yeah. They've embraced us and they've Literally. been one of our biggest cheerleaders. The extracurriculars at Barts in the London are amazing. There's a community for everyone and everything, which is yeah. great. Um, the whole BA Me diverse thing, it's definitely diverse in regards to, like, I would say the, the Asian population. I, in regards to black, because, you know, BA Me is black and minority, ethnic, whatever. I don't, th I don't think it's, I don't think it's yeah. the most diverse in regards to African Caribbean. Definitely yeah. more than some other Russell groups, but... I, I think just BA me is a very um, it's a very wide term. So mm -hmm. if you're coming from it from my background, yes, there's a community there, but it's not as diverse as you think for for Afro Caribbeans. I think the curriculum is actually great. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, the curriculum is amazing. Right? Yeah. Bart's does produce really good doctors, and that's mm -hmm. something we can't take away from them. It gives you lots of opportunities. Like as a med student, I was doing like a consultancy project thing. Like, yeah. why am I there? It's just I, I, I can do what I want. I was in yeah. Malta because we of were Bart. in Malta because of Bart so genuinely yeah. it's a good uni it's a good place like we said there are areas where it could be refined I do think there are mm. some especially in, in Bart's in the London some elements of things that are a bit too clicky or too segregated mm. but each their own especially more recently they really do care about us doing well in our exams I think the exams can be hard sometimes don't get me wrong but whether it be having like um, evening revision sessions or like really putting effort into the PSA, for example, mm -hmm. which is our prescribing exam. We had so many sessions on that. Yeah. I think I think they do care. Do you think that medical school is genuinely worth it in this day and age? <laughs> in this day and age. <laughs> um, okay, let me answer this question. Do I regret going to medical school? One million percent no. Were there times where I did? One million percent yes. I think obviously we all know this, the, the state of the NHS. We all know the job we are going into and starting medical school, I hoped by the end of it, it would have gotten better. It didn't. It somehow gotten worse. Yes. Um, I, it probably won't get better. If you're watching this, you know, if I get into first year, by the time I graduate, things get better. They probably won't. Yeah. We thought the same thing as well. Yeah. yeah. Five Doing years, 10 years isn't enough to make change, apparently. Um, <laughs> medicine as a degree has been great for me i think it's worth it and i don't regret my decision of going at the end of the day my dream job was to be a doctor mm. not to work for the nhs mm. and i think Ooh. it's true though <laughs> and i think because i don't really see myself being in the nhs long term anyways i'm okay i'm okay with that like i'm excited to see where this role as a doctor will take me mm. because it can take you very far mm. and you can get to do so much with it which mm. i'm excited for but i think if i wanted to specialize and i wanted to be a surgeon or stuff like that in the uk in this country i don't i think i'd really regret my decision i think i would tell you it isn't worth it but i think if you're open to the fact that being a doctor means multiple things and you're open yeah. to exploring different things then yeah it is worth it because yeah. your role doesn't end at the nhs yeah at the end of the day 17 year old lydian has Zao, wanted to be doctors and now here we are as doctors what's next in regards to social media and life you guys have been belling down our dms <laughs> what hospital are you in what hospital are you in what allocations <laughs> did you get <laughs> literally guys that one will be revealed in a separate youtube video you know we'll get into all of that in much mm. more detail we don't want to rush anything mm. in this video um in regards to social media whether we're going to continue after graduation that's still something that we need to confirm within ourselves <laughs> And then we'll let you guys know what's up as well. Yeah. But yeah, we're really excited for all the changes happening, all the changes coming. And trust me, you guys are gonna have a life update as soon as soon as possible. Yeah. You guys have just been amazing since the very start. I feel like we keep saying this, but yeah. honestly, I can't show my appreciation enough. Yeah. Um 
So we're very thankful for you guys. We love you guys. And remember guys, if you do want to check out Organics Basics, the link is in the description box down below and you can use Lydia and Hazar for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in a future video next time. Bye. Bye.